on other fields, on other days. That's the primary charge for the cadets of Army. But on this field, the seeds planted by the likes of Davis, Blanchard, and Dawkins certainly have produced victory. Welcome to Mikey Stadium at West Point, home of the Black Knights of the Hudson. We have a ranked versus unranked battle coming up here. You know how chaos can ensue if they start smelling an upset. As we'll see, the Royals taking on the 11th ranked team in the land, the Army Black Knights. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Reese Davis, joined here in the booth, as always, by David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. Got will get us underway with the opening kickoff. On the run from inside his own five. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. The Royals' offense takes the field to start this game off. And there he is. To this team's fans, he is a heroic figure. He is the guy who can lead them to the promised land. This guy has been in big games and big moments, and he's delivered for his football team. It never seems like a situation is just too big for him. This obviously is a huge game. I cannot wait to see this guy compete. Here comes the offense on second down. Touch pass on the run. He is stopped behind the line of scrimmage. They'll lose yards on that one. So already they've hit a speed bump on this opening drive. It's third and eight. Dropping back, it's Beebe. The quick out. One of the things I love about this defense is they just have such great awareness. They're always communicating. They understood the down and distance. They knew exactly what they needed to do to make the tackle to force the punt. That is so well done. Slips through the line. Coverage team gets the job done, and they'll mark him down at the 38-yard line. The Cadets offense has the ball for the first time. Here comes the offense on first down. They'll come out on this drive and let it rip. He looks that one in nicely. And the defense had that one well covered, just a short game there. The Black Knights in the hurry up. Quarterback on the keeper. Fighting off the defender. One step wrap, two step squeeze. This junior knows how to get him on the ground. Third and short from the 44, and we might know if they plan to go for it on fourth down by what they call here. From the gun, wants to pass. Trying to get to it. And he can't escape, and down he goes. And that is how you silence this raucous crowd. Defensively on the road. First drive of the game, setting the tone, getting a huge sack on third down. And the Black Knights will send out the punt unit. They'll have to punt for the first time this afternoon. No return coming. He'll call for the fair catch. They'll get this drive going from the 17. They're going to test that run defense to the right here. That may not look like a huge run, but they'll take it as it gets them up to the 24. Good spot after that seven-yard pickup on first down. It's second and three. From the gun, they'll try to impose their will. And he's a real nowhere man tackled in this no-game land. A third down try for the offense. Dropping back, it's Beebe. And they get to the quarterback and knock him down back at the 16. And the defense there goes zone coverage. Maybe confused the quarterback a little bit, forced him to hold on to the football, and that allowed the pass rush to get home. And the Royals will try to pin them back with the punt. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. He gets a block. And the punt team able to smack him to the ground. Army has it back in the offense, ready to go. 
from the gun. The running back looking for room. Still running at the 40. Ripping through the defense. Ripped off a huge chunk play on that one as he gets the first down before he steps out of bounds. From the red zone, looking for a receiver. Gets it out quickly. That completion will take it close to the five-yard line. They'll mark it at the six. They'll dial up the run on first and goal. And he's loose, and he'll take it to the house. Touchdown, Black Knights! A big question mark for this offense coming into the year, guys. Who could score touchdowns? Who are going to be their biggest playmakers on offense? This guy scored in the first game. He's off to a great start in this one with that touchdown. This guy looks like the real deal. Lining up to tack one more on that lead. And the extra point is good, and it's 7-0. Quick strike offense on that three-play scoring drive. And he got into the house from the six to finish it. He'll return it. He's brought down if the 16 would have been much better off to take the touchback. So we'll see this offense make its way out to start the drive. Out of the gun to give to the back. He kept those legs moving, got three out to the 19. Got three on first down at second and seven. They're trying to slow that rush down with the draw. Finds a little bit of space, gets three to the 22. How bold will they be on third down after that last run? Looking to throw, it's Beebe. Couldn't find a man and just had to throw it away to avoid a negative play. The Royals will punt it away on fourth down. No fair catches here looking for room. Returns like that are why you don't settle for the fair catch if you don't have to. Picks up just a little bit of yards to help out the O. From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. Still on his feet. Ripping through the defense and getting it all the way down to the 24-yard line. Man down on the play as the officials take a break to let him be checked out. Offense trying to keep him off balance on first and 10. Use the play fake. Now to throw. A shot toward the end zone. Falls in complete and he did everything perfectly except catch the football. Second down coming. They'll throw again after the incompletion. Makes the catch. Into the end zone. Touchdown, Army! AT unit on the field. And the extra point pushes the lead to 14. Quick strike offense on that three-play scoring drive. And they finish things up with a dart from 24 yards out. He'll start the return inside his five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. Offense set on first down. It'll be a draw. Crosses the 30. He's got a lane. And chunk plays are the name of the game, and they get one here before the defense finally makes the stop. Man, this guy's a playmaker, and he does not need a lot of space. Really nice job that time letting the pass rush get upfield. So when he got the football, there was just green grass out ahead of him, and he made the defense pay. Uh, and when I got a guy like that, man, I, I just got to find ways to get him past the D-line, right? And then the draw play is a good way to do it. Let them run themselves up the field. Then you can see he's got some serious speed. A lot of speed in space is always a good recipe for offense. 
They try to pop a run on the draw. And they did not let him get to that first down line. It'll bring up a call here. And the Royals will bring the punt team onto the field. He's getting a lot of work. Fourth time he's punted tonight. And the punt hits at the eight and goes into the end zone for the touchback. The cadets have it back as Army goes back on offense. From the shotgun, the handoff to the back. They knock him down after a gain of three to the 23. The Black Knights moving quickly to the line. Dialing up a second down pass play. Quickly complete. How about this backer in pass coverage and bringing the big hit stick with him too. Now looking for that first down on third and short from the 26. From the gun, wants to pass. Receiver looks it in, it's complete. Good job running that route to get past the sticks because he got nothing after the catch. That is going to drive this defensive play. It's a lot of DCs. They focus a ton of energy on how their unit performs on third down and in the red zone. This defense gives up a couple more third down conversions like that. They're going to be in for a really unpleasant film session. Dude, when you've got a guy like this that can just hit the gas and go pick up 15 plus yards, what a luxury. How nice is it to have a quarterback like that when I'm a tailback? When I could send the tailback one direction, quarterback the other direction. This guy's just got so much speed. And the Black Knights have it with a first and ten. Nice job by the running back there on that angle route against zone coverage. He wasn't in a hurry. He was able to sort of find the soft spot in the defense and just gear down, make himself an easy target. Let's see if they go back to the air on second down. You see these windows. They're getting smaller and smaller to throw into. Really nice job by the defense that time, getting a hand in there, knocking that ball away. And the defense finally makes a stop after the sweet run and good game. Black Knights can do it on the ground with a Mr. Inside or Mr. Outside. They just love to run it. They'll do it however way you want it. Whether it's inside and they're going to give the first one or they're going to run the option off it, you're going to get a steady dose of running the football. They will check to see how physical you want to be in a football game. He's looking for a man on second down. He's going to run it. He gets the job done, picking up the first down, then getting down. Defense is backed up. Shadow of the goalpost trying to defend their own end zone. They're working that left side. That completion will take it inside the four, and the offense is threatening. Defense trying to come up with a stop on second and goal. The gift to the back. And he takes it in for the score. Touchdown, Black Knights! Now they'll line up for what they hope is automatic. And the extra point will tack another one onto this lead. We check in with Kevin Connors. What's going on, Kevin? Two very different emotions inside the locker rooms of these teams who did battle today. Oklahoma rolled to a victory, and after putting up this kind of win, there has to be some Heisman buzz around a program that produced four winners of the award between 2003 and 2018. It's one game. You don't want to react too much either way. But I think both teams will leave this one with some things to work on moving forward. And Kevin Connors keeping an eye on everything all over the country. Sounds like they had a good one there. They almost got a first down there. Stopped a yard short. It'll be third down. They've already punted four times in this game, and they're about to run the guy out there for a fifth time if they don't pick up the first down here. They'll try to run for it. And with that effort, they pick up a fresh set of downs. They have it at the 34-yard line. First and 10. 
from the gun. They'll try to impose their running game. Great pickup as they'll keep this drive moving, and they've got it at the 45. The Royals are marching down the field. Handoff from the gun. Makes him talk to the hand. And a decent game there before the defense makes the stop. They'll line up for a second down play. Looking downfield, it's Beebe. It's complete to the right. Open space at the 25. And he slipped through the crowd, and he'll house it. Touchdown, Royals! And unbelievable timing with the quarterback and wide receiver. Get it to him in his hands, right on his frame, where he can run after the catch and do some serious damage. And that's why he's so dangerous, is because of that ability after the catch. For these DBs in this game, you've got to tackle the reception, because if you don't get him down, he's taking it to the house. Lining up to add another. And after the extra point, they're now down 21 to 7. And how about these two running games so far? Dominance on the ground as we look at the first quarter stats. Now the challenge here, they've taken a punch, but they can't let it get out of hand as we start the second. And they desperately wanted to attempt a return, but decided not to. Instead, they'll take the touchback. They'll throw it on first down. And it's incomplete. If you're going to take a hit like that, you might as well hang on to the ball. After misfiring, it's second down. He's looking to throw. Makes the catch along the sidelines and steps out of bounds. The Black Knights want to move quickly. In the gun and looking to throw on third down. And that one had some juice on it, but it's incomplete. And here comes the punt team. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. Perhaps feeling that coverage coming signals for the fair catch and makes it at the 25. They'll put this one in play for a snap of the drive from the 25. From the gun, running back gets the give. Defense in the right spot. They stop him after a gain of two to the 28. Four receivers set, two on each side on second and eight. Looking for a man. It's Beebe. Going to take a shot at this DB. Reacted well to the tip, but just couldn't squeeze the football. Instead of the turnover, it'll be third down. They go to the draw. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. And the Royals send out the punt unit. They've been busy out there to punt for the fifth time today. Another punt on the way. Got to make sure those hammies and glutes all activated. Don't want any muscle pulls from overuse. Everybody stays in their lanes well enough, and they stop him at the 31-yard line. Oh, it gives him the tough stiff arm. And he'll run across the sidelines after the good game. This offense set up with a second and short. They'll leave it with him. Wrestled down at the 43 after getting five. Offense lines up for a first and ten from the 43. He's looking to throw it. Makes his connection. Nice completion here to this wide receiver. And you're going to see this receiver line up in different spots all over the field all game long. The defense has got to keep their eye on where this guy is because they know he's a big part of this offensive success. At the 35, he's loose. And he will finally go out of bounds after another big gain. And they are absolutely gashing them with this running game. How about the left side of the line getting off the ball? creating some holes for that running back to get through, make a big play on the handoff to the left. When something works that well, you might... Looking for the end zone. Fires into traffic. It's picked off. 
And that's why as quarterbacks, you cannot telegraph the pass. You cannot stare down your receivers because these defenders, they're watching it. And that defender knew exactly where the QB was going with that football, and that's why he picked it off. So guys, we'll get another look at this offense. They're going to open this drive with a pass. Got a man. It's Smallwood. They make the stop, trying to pick up just a little bit at a time to get to that first down marker. Going with the counter play here. And he's knocked down, but not before moving the chains. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. One back in the backfield. He gets the carry. And offenses want to continue to feature the run. They want balance. Even if it's not super successful, you can take it a little bit at a time just to keep that defense up. And that pass picked off. Got some room to run. He's at the 10. And he's going to score on the interception. Touchdown, Army! I'll tell you what, as a DB, you're lucky if you get one pick six in your entire football life. This guy had one last game. He's got one this game. Quarterbacks are going to stop throwing his way. Lining up for the PAT. And the extra point is true, and the lead balloons to 21. They'll kick it off and send that defense right back out there to try to score again after the pick six. From inside his own 10, he'll try to help out their field position. He was looking for more running room, but none to be found as he stopped at the 23. The give to the running back from the shotgun. Finds his way ahead for five, and now they've got it at the 28. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. Now the play fake. That pass is incomplete, and they're probably fortunate that it wasn't knocked free for a fumble. It's a draw. He powers his way ahead, gets three, but they're still looking at fourth and two. The Royals will punt this one away. And these guys have been busy. Sixth punt of the day. Hauls it in and looking upfield. He gets it up to the 34-yard line before he stopped, and that's where the offense will set up shot. Line gets set, first down. From the gun, the running back has it. Not a whole lot of room there. Three yards, maybe. Second and seven. Went to the running game on first down. Now here they come again. On second down, he's looking downfield. Quickly out to the tight end. And they'll pick up the first down and mark it at the 47. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. He'll pull it on the read. Powers through the defender. At the there he goes. Quarterback gets past the marker. Touchdown, Black Knights. And once he found daylight, it was Katie by the door, baby. This quarterback is so unique and he's so special because of his running ability, his wiggle, his speed, and his burst in the open field. He's like a running back playing the quarterback position. He shows you that on that play. Ready to try the point after. And with the extra point, they push the lead out a little further. About to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. Here he comes from inside his own five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. A little bit backed up to start this drive from their own 18-yard line. 
quick pass on the fly motion. And the defense holds firm. No pickup at all on that play. Got stuffed on first down. It's second and ten. Back to throw. It's BB. Fires to the wide out. It's caught. A little more space. Open up that playbook even more as they pick up the first down out to the 30. He wants to throw. Sends it downfield. Makes the grab at the 30. And he'll take it in. They couldn't get him on the ground. Touchdown, Royals. Yeah, and that's simple, but it's not easy. It's a go route. Like, th th that receiver's streaking straight down the outside of the field. And my job as a quarterback is to put that ball up in the air, keep it away from the safety. He does just that. Receiver comes down with the catch. Nice pitch, nice catch, touchdown. He'll try to tack on one more. And the extra point is good. They still trail 35-14. Let's go to the studio now and check in with Kevin Connors. Kevin, what do you got? A bit of an under-the-radar game this week, guys, but take a look at this. Michigan is currently up big right now in a game they'll be talking about in Ann Arbor for a long time. They're up by 28 over Ball State. Just another week of college football where we've come to expect the unexpected. Fellas? Oh, and how about that? I know Kevin and those guys will be keeping an eye on it for us. Defense falls on the ball. Going to be a turnover. Yeah, and you see wide receivers make those catches and try to get upfield and now turn into a running back and make something happen. And a lot of times you just forget to secure that football real tight. And you could tell DB got it out. Big mistake, big turnover, nice forced turnover by the defense. And the offense takes the field eager to go back to work. Handoff to the lone back. And they make the tackle, but the official has tossed his flag. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Up and, up and. Holding penalties, the ultimate drive killer. We'll see if it costs this offense here. They'll run it out of the shotgun. Continuing to churn and move it forward, and they're closing in on midfield. It's down at the 48. And here comes the offense on second down. And how about that interior defense stuffing the run for nothing? This is a third and long. Looking to throw, and he needs a bunch. And that's not the way they drew it up. It's incomplete. And the Royals will line up to punt it away. Three and out and not much choice but to get rid of the ball. Punt goes out of bounds and a really nice job as they stick them deep in their own end. They'll mark it around the 10. From the gun, the ground game. Never underestimate the power of moving forward and creating breathing room. He's up to the 17. Wide out in motion. Out of the gun. The running back has it. And how about the work up front by that big defensive line? Third and short. They've got them back up inside the 20, and the D can get the ball back here. What a good run there. He has enough for the first down. We've reached the two-minute warning, and they will try to build on what has already been a dominant first-half performance. The throw to the outside is complete. They make the stop right there. Good pickup, but still short of the first down. On second down, he'll fire. Unloads to the wideout. He's got him wide open. He stopped just short of the goal line at the one. An explosive play has him set up. Well, after that last play, you can see how electrifying this guy is and how special he is after he makes the catch. If I'm on offense, I'm trying to find a lot of ways to get him touches in this game. This offense has been a juggernaut, and they have a chance to pad their total just before halftime. They'll run the option. Now the pitch. And he takes it to the house. Touchdown, Army! 
Another rushing touchdown. That's now two on the game. This offense thought they could come into this one running the ball, being the more physical team, and they look like it right now. They'll try to tack one more on their score. The kick is up and good and put one more on the lead. So that scoring drive took only six plays. And they capped it off with a one-yard plunge. He'll bring it out from inside his own 10. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. This drive will start from the 19-yard line. Catch in the middle. It's Smallwood. And oh, he was off to the races after the catch, and they finally drag him down. A timeout is called as this offense tries to find a way to get more points on the board before the half. Back open in the middle. Here's a timeout on the field. Tight game here late in the first half. They'll line up right at the 48-yard line on first and 10. Fires to the middle. Got his man downfield. Chopping up this defense, and they've got it all the way down to the 23. Nice confidence by the QB. Good throw over the middle of the field. Nice little strike down the field for a big play. Listen, you got to throw it where it's open. And he found a slot. Fires deep toward the end zone. And he's got it. Touchdown, Royals. Man, nice job getting the passing game going. This is big, man. Going to the half. And listen, I know you're trailing, but building some momentum. Maybe this second half we can keep airing the football out, cutting into this deficit, and who knows what the heck will happen. Getting set for the point after. Right down the boulevard. Quick work on that scoring drive, just four plays. And they finish it off with a touchdown toss from the 23. Here he comes with the return. I know he thinks he can house every return, but sometimes you just have to take a knee as he stopped at the 14. They'll start this drive with a pass. Moving out of the pocket. Across the 25, he's got room. And he gets out of there and gets some yardage and gets down without taking any punishment. Looking to move it through the air. He's got his man. And he's still running after the move. They'll knock him down and that will take us to halftime. That's the end of the second quarter. That means it's time to join Kevin in our halftime update. Fellas, one thing we can always count on is a great atmosphere in West Point. Toughest job inside that stadium right now might just be the scoreboard operator after all those first downs and touchdowns. Big plays have to find this one thanks to two of the best receiving four in all of college football. Let's see if these defenses can adjust and make the necessary chess moves. With that said, let's send it back to the guys at Blake Field inside Mikey Stadium. The Royals will kick it off to start the second half. And he takes this from inside the five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. Army has it back in the offense, ready to go. Motion by the back forces the defense to adjust. Quick strike complete. And a nine-yard gain on first down leaves him with second and short. They go to the ground. Fights off a defender. Good, solid pickup on that one. They've got it out to the 40, and it's first down. Looks as if we have an injury on that last play, and we'll take a break to check him out. The offense lines up at the 40. They've got a first down. Pulls it and fires to the left. Smashes through the tackle. 
And he'll be forced out of bounds, but not before yet another big play in this passing attack. When we see another catch by this guy, this defense is going to need to do a better job of tackling the catch. In coverage, I know they want to slap the ball away, but if you can't do it and force the incompletion, you've got to at least make sure you're able to drag him down to the ground as soon as he catches the ball. And the Black Knights will have it first and ten. He's going to pass. And that incomplete pass caused by the big hit on first down. Second down coming. After the misfire, now on second down. He's looking to throw. Just not quite able to make the connection. It's incomplete. This drive was clicking along, but after a couple of misfires, threatening to stall out on third and ten. He'll just keep slinging it. Getting some heat. Going to try to get it himself. And he gets it just beyond the line of scrimmage before he gets down. The Black Knights line up to punt it away. He'll try to really get into this one. Punt goes out of bounds and a really nice job as they stick them deep in their own end. They'll mark it around the 10. Unloads quickly. They make the stop after the catch and still some work to do to pick up that first down. Great execution on the RPO, and the receiver had some time to find the soft spot in the zone and make himself open for the quarterback and make it a much easier pass. Great job. It's first down from back at their own 24-yard line. They'll try the left side. Just enough there to get it to the 25 and pick up a two. And the Royals racing to the line in the hurry up. To the air, it's Beebe. Makes a connection. Afterburner's coming. Ten. Touchdown, Royals. He broke away from the defense and they couldn't catch him. How about the day for this young fan? Three receiving touchdowns. Hey, defense, that guy's good. We might want to do something about it. Let's send two at him. Let's send three at him. We can't let this guy continue to beat us time and time again. On to attempt the try. And it's perfect. And for a quick update, let's go to Kevin Connors in the studio. Guys, let's get you up to speed on what's going down in this fun college football game today. Michigan is running away with this one, thanks to an offense that's been clicking in every facet of the game. They're up by 35 over Ball State. We promise to keep you posted on what goes down in this exciting college football matchup. Thanks for the update on that one. Kevin, let us know when it goes final. It's first and 10 from the 38-yard line. And it's really nice to have a workhorse running back that you know you can feed and get productive gain after gain. Now over 100 yards. You've already got some separation on the scoreboard. I would continue to feed this workhorse. Motion trying to get the defense to show his hand. Fires to the big fella. A nice job by the defense there tackling the catch and smothering the tight end. They know this offense is going to try to find him in the passing game in a lot of different situations. That time, perfect coverage. And nice job bringing the big guy down. Not easy to do. Makes the grab on the left. Now they're starting to feel it. They've got a first down at the 44. And the Black Knights are moving quickly down the field. Third down, offenses have their plays. What they like in third short, what they like third and medium, third and long. A great job by the offense having success. Now it's incumbent upon the defense to learn their plays and try to shut it down throughout the game. He'll keep it himself. A strong tackle and wrap up from the junior. Tempo and overdrive. Third down play from the gun. Throws to the wideout. And that one's incomplete. Worth taking a shot there, but couldn't hook up. The Black Knights decide to punt it away. Fourth time tonight we've seen this guy come on to punt. 
Able to keep them from getting a return, and the ball goes out of bounds. They're going to mark it right around the 20. First down here for the offense. Out of the shotgun, they go to the ground. Stacked up after gaining a couple to the 23. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. From the gun, running back on the move. Really nice job to score his way up to the 31-yard line. And this offense just has to find a way to convert this third down or else they are really in trouble. They'll try to bully their way for the first. The Royals get it past the sticks. They move the chains on the ground. Now another first down. They're testing the right side here. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. This offense has a second down play. On the run, it's Cousins. Good job running tough and behind his pads as he gets up to the 38-yard line. They line up, and it is a long way to the sticks from here. Fires to the wideout. And this is going to be incomplete on third down. And the Royals will call on their punt team. Makes a catch. Wants to make a move upfield. They'll get down and put a stop to this return. They'll mark it at the 32. First down for this offense. From the shotgun, they'll run it. Finally stopped at the 46 after a 15-yard gain. And the Black Knights will hustle to the line. They'll give it to him again. And he finds some solid space, makes a nice game before the defense is able to stop it. Man down on the play as the officials take a break to let him be checked out. After the nine-yard pickup on first down, here's second and one. He's looking to throw. Quarterback extends the play. Nifty little scamper on this one. Enough for the first down, and he slides in safely. The Black Knights come to the line with a new set of downs. Nice job by the QB, sitting back in the pocket. You can tell he wants to throw the football, go through his progressions. Nothing home, take off and slide. I love the slide at the end. Don't take a big shot. Brought down just outside the red zone. He moves the chains. It's at the 22. He unleashed that one. Some serious spin rates and revolutions on that one. <laughs> Want to talk about velocity? How about the arm talent this kid has? I love watching him through his curl routes. He's in rhythm. He takes his steps. And, man, when he decides to pull the trigger, watch out. A little pre-snap eye candy for the defense. Flips it out to the back. He's brought down, but he went backwards after that completion, not the way they had it drawn up. Boy, they love to move the sticks here and take a shot at it on first and goal. On third and short, they'll go to the power running game. And he'll be taken down, but he does have enough for the first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. Might as well give it to him again. He'll take four yards on first down every time, second and six. A lot of urgency for this offense. He'll do it himself. Touchdown, Black Knights! And they take it in for six more points. This option rushing attack stresses the defense in so many different ways. That's already their second rushing touchdown using the option. The AT unit on the field. And the extra point is true, and the lead balloons to 21. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. Here's the return from inside his 10. 
Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. They'll snap this one to start the drive from their own 22. Try to get the edge with a quick touch pass. He's out past the 35. And he's running in the open. Running inside the 20. And he'll take it to the house. He got loose. Touchdown, Royals! If this dude were a kitchen knife, you would be slicing the tomatoes so thin your in-laws would never come back to your house. <laughs> well, that'd be a good thing. I don't know if I want my in-laws to come back anyways, but he's been on fire. He's been absolutely torching this defense. They've had absolutely no answers for him. And they add the extra point to finish the drive. And that's the kind of drive everybody loves. So see quarterback, one snap, put it in the end zone. And here's the return. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes, and they'll stop him at the 16. The cadets have it back as Army goes back on offense. And David, how they would love to stick it in the end zone one more time after that last drive. And once you get the defense on their heels and you back them off a little bit, you get in a little bit of rhythm, it's really hard to stop Jesse, and they're going to try to do it again right here. And if you're this play caller, you're loving what's happening right now because everything you dialed up on that last drive ended up working out. You're just looking at your play sheet. Everything you're picking is working. Let's see if they can pull it off again. And the Black Knights want to crank the tempo. Muscling ahead on third and short. They'll pick up the first down as he gets it out to the 27-yard line. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. Got his man quickly. He's brought down solid. Pick up a little bit short of the first down. Line getting set on second down. Moving the running back, trying to get the D to tip its hand. They're trying to get to it. Nowhere close on that one as he got drilled trying to deliver the football, and now they face third down. Gets it out fast. And the defense makes the immediate tackle, but he has enough for the first down. The Black Knights are on the move. Well, offensive coordinators put in countless hours every week trying to formate and use different personnel groupings and shifts and motions to give their offense a success on third down. You can tell in this game, this offensive coordinator, he has put in the work this week. And the Black Knights will snap it on first and ten. They want to just keep throwing it. Using the quick game. That's about as close as you can get to that marker, and it will be second and just a few breaths away from the first down. Yeah, and he's been throwing it all over the yard, and he's now over 300 yards on the day, so it's been a successful day. Now, 300 yards, I don't know, Palmer, 300 nowadays, that's like what back in the day for you? <laughs> that would have been 500. I would have won the Heisman, maybe. It's a big <laughs> deal today in college football, no doubt. Now, listen, he's in a rhythm right now. He's in a groove. We've seen good decision-making. He's been playing on time, and he's been deadly accurate throwing it. Guess what? This game is far from over. They'll ride the running back and leave it with him. And he's brought down after a nice game. They've moved it to the 19, first and 10. My job is to get into my playmakers like this guy on the outside. He'll do the rest. He'll get in the end zone. Nice catch. But he'll finish it with a touchdown. They'll try to add another to their lead. And the extra point is true, and the lead balloons to 21. And let's check in with Kevin Connors in the studio. Kevin? Boys, if it's happening in college football, we've got eyes on it. Check this out. Toledo is up big right now, and what's shaping up to be a blowout those Rockets fans will remember for some time. They're up by 19 over the Coyotes. 
Dropping back, it's Beebe. Any big developments in this one, we've got you covered with the best studio team in the business, gentlemen. And how about that one? Kevin will be keeping an eye on everything going on elsewhere. And talk about spreading the ball around. Everyone getting a chance to show off the hands based on the number of targets we've seen. One more quarter to play, and it might be unlikely, but hey, it's college football. Comebacks happen. He wants to pass it on second down. Grabbed in the middle, it's Smallwood. He'll be stopped at the 41, but give him 10 on that play. They'll put him play from the 41 on first down. He's looking to throw it. Intercepted. Bringing it back. At the 20. And he's going to run it all the way back. Touchdown, Black Knights! And that just might do it, man. Offense needed points. Needed points badly. Defense comes up with the big interception. Takes it all the way back just to pad their lead a little bit and make this game almost, almost out of reach. Now they'll line up for what they hope is automatic. And the extra point will tack another one onto this lead. They're about to kick it away, and the defense probably can't wait to get back out there after the pick six. He'll bring it back from inside his five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. And the offense takes over to dip into its bag of ball plays. Got him downfield. And the tackle is made, but not before. That completion gets them 30-plus. Well, I'll give this offense some credit because they've got a lot of fight. There is no quit in them, and they're obviously trailing by a big amount in this game. They haven't had a lot of success, but they're still taking shots, and their players are still out there competing. Can't find his man as he took a shot trying to deliver that football, and it'll be second down. After the incompletion, back to the passing game. And this senior quarterback a little too bold there, and he's lucky he didn't get picked off throwing into double coverage. Wants to throw. It's Beebe. Working that left side now. There to make the tackle, but the big throw is good enough to give them a first down. Looking to throw it again. Feeling some heat. And he was hit just as he was releasing the pass, and it falls to the ground incomplete. Offense in an empty set. Right back to the air on second and ten. Gets it out quickly. They make the stop, but not before they do their work up top and pick up a first down. He wants to throw. Shoots it to the left. Excellent coverage and good use of the hands to knock it away. And the incompletion brings up a second down for this offense. And off from the shotgun. Able to make the stop after a gain of two to the 22. Already well within field goal range. Wonder how aggressive they'll be on third and long from the 22. From the gun, wants to pass. Rush coming in hot, and they've got him at the 29. And listen, the quarterback drops back. He's going through his progressions. We see zone, but just couldn't do anything about it. This defensive line, this pressure, getting to the quarterback, getting him on the ground. Down by multiple possessions. You can't come up empty on this drive. They'll go for it on fourth down. He'll try to throw and pick up the first down. And it's swatted away. It's a turnover on downs. A first down for the offense. They'll go to the ground. Just working and poking and prodding and finding his way up to the 36. They can really be aggressive after that last play. It's second and three. The receivers telling the quarterback what they see. 
They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. It's going to be tough sledding for the offense here. They're trying to ice this game by running the football and bleeding the clock. They've got a pretty good lead here late in the game, but the defense knows the run's coming, right? So they're going to be loading the line of scrimmage, getting stops like what they just did. Be interesting to see what the offense does on this next one. Off play action. And the pass hits, picked off. Just a small return, but a big play as they have it now at the 45. We've just seen in this game, the ball has just gotten away from him a little bit. A couple of times, just hasn't been able to put it where he wants to. And as a result, that's now his second pick thrown in this game. So the first play of the drive, starting here from the 45. Comes out throwing on first down. And he is finding wide open defenders all over the field. His third interception of the day. Not a lot of room on the return, but he'd already gotten the most important thing, the ball, and they have it at the 46. Army has it back in the offense, ready to go. Give to the back. And a good, solid pick up there before the defense knocks him down. Got eight on first down, now looking at a second and two. Motion from the offense. Makes one man miss. And he uses a stiff arm to push his way past the sticks and pick up the first down. They're down to the 32-yard line on first and 10. Looking for a physical attack from the gun. And he broke one tackle on the way to a solid pickup there. Nine-yard pickup on first down, and now they can take a shot on second and short. Off the bootleg and rolling out. He makes the connection. And they'll finally get him down after a terrific pickup. The Black Knights have their offense in high gear. From the gun, they'll try to impose their will. Operating in the red zone here on second down. Running back searching for a hole. Forges ahead for one to the eight-yard line. High quarters deep in the red zone, but they can't pick up a first down without scoring. Third down. From the gun, wants to pass. Looking for the score. Touchdown, Army! And the beatdown has ensued. And another good touchdown drive by this offense. And how about the start to the season? Blowout win in game one. Blowout win looking like in game two. This unit's clicking. They're looking like a team that will be reckoned with when the playoffs start late in the year. Lining up to add another. And the extra point just tacks a little bit more onto this huge lead. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. On the move from inside is five. And the return man showing great vision to be able to find some space and put his team in much better field position. Wants to throw on first down. And it is another interception. Just a terrible struggle for this quarterback. Touchdown, Black Knights! How about that D coming up with a play like that? Stop it. How about back-to-back -back weeks with pick sixes? This guy is now making plays, not just for his defense. He's scoring points, and I promise you the locker room is a lot of fun. Mr. Pick Six, he's going to get a lot of congratulations and a lot of accolades this week. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And with that extra point, the lead remains in the gargantuan category. They're lining up to kick it off after the pick six, and that defense will come out feeling it. And they thought about a return, then thought better of it. They'll bring it out to the 25. Offense getting set for first down. Looking to move it through the air. And the DB forcing the incomplete pass with the deflection. 
Offense gets set for second down. Looking to throw, it's Beebe. Unloads to the wideout. And that is his fifth interception. If he comes out to try for six, he'll be lucky. As a quarterback, you've got to give your receiver an opportunity to make a play. You've got to put the ball on his body. And that throw gets away a little bit from the QB, and that leads to the tip and the interception. The cadets have it back as Army goes back on offense. Give to the running back. One step wrap, two step squeeze. This junior knows how to get him on the ground. After picking up a couple at second and eight. Out of the gun, the give to the back. Knocked down at the 35 after a pickup of three. Offense breaks the huddle on third down. The give and tick, 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 tick. Moving deeper into enemy territory. Move the chains. It's first down at the 27. Now they're going to throw it. Takes the easy throw in the flat. On the nasty move, and now he's got room. Just does not like to be tackled, discarding guys and getting to the 21. The give to the tailback. Brought to the ground, but not before first getting down. enough for the first down. We've reached the two-minute warning, and this offense will be quite content just to drain the rest of the time away. Right back to the well. And he's almost to that first down marker there, saying he's a little bit short. They might want to bring out the sticks and measure, but it looks as if he'll be just short of the first down. Quarterback reacting to what the D is showing. And they're going to score again. Yet another touchdown as they just add to their total. And with that score, you start to get excited because you can feel the momentum starting off 2-0. I mean, you got to finish this one off, but there's a great chance you're going to. But this season has started just like you wanted it to. Now just keep climbing. See how high we can get in these rankings. They'll try to add another to their lead. And with the extra point, they push the lead out a little further. We check in with Kevin Connors. What's going on, Kevin? All right, guys, a little update on what else is happening in college football this weekend. Vanderbilt has been almost unstoppable today offensively. Between the game plan and the play calling and the execution, it's been near perfection. They're up by 18 over Purdue. They'll crank up this drive with the pass. We've got our eye on things here and everything else going on right now. And any updates, you'll see them here, guys. Oh, and how about that? I know Kevin and those guys will be keeping an eye on it for us. And he got a hand in there and knocks it away incomplete. It'll take some work to get to the sticks. It's third and long from the 30. Back to pass. It's Beebe. Here's a throw downfield late. What a spectacular grab there as they try to finish this game with a little something to feel good about. What a beautiful throw and catch on this play. And I love the job the receiver did tracking the ball in the air. Nice job of locating the throw and then hauling it in. The Royals trying to get a touchdown on first and goal. Snapped it in the shotgun. They're bringing heat. Just had to get rid of that one. Good job to fight another play. Defense rolls up deep in its own end on that last play. Now a second and long coming. He's looking to throw. And he got a hand on it to knock it down in the end zone. The offense will stop the clock and use one of its timeouts. Wants to throw for it on third and goal. Going for six. And good coverage and better hands on that shot to the end zone. So they'll send out the field goal unit. It's good. He could have hit a string right in the middle of the uprights there. 
Let's not say they cut into the deficit with that field goal. Maybe just, I don't know, tweaked a little bit of it away with their fingernail. After putting up a three Number spot, the kickoff seven. unit set to go. Set to kick it off. On the run from inside his own five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. Army has it back in the offense, ready to go. Now the chance to take a knee and just put the finishing touches on this victory. Yeah, and this offense has done their job, man. They've been so productive, built the lead. Listen, their defense has pulled their weight as well. But now, Jesse, you get to exhale, you get to breathe, and you know we got the W, and we played well. And we got to think about where we're taking our girlfriend and parents for dinner, right? What side are we ordering with our giant steak? We've earned it in this game. Now it's time to go celebrate. Plenty of fireworks in this one. A lot of points. They always talk about having the chalk last, and it seemed like whoever was on offense had the last lap. Yeah, it's amazing how much offense has just boomed in college football. So good. So many ways to hurt you. And you saw both of these offenses put on the show today, Jess. Dave, we talked to both of these coaching staffs, and their defensive coordinators were losing sleep all week. They knew this was going to be a tough task ahead of them. So much speed, so much firepower on both of these offenses. And man, we saw that here today. That's going to do it for us. For Jesse Palmer, David Pollock, our entire broadcast team, I'm Reese Davis. This has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.